right, so what we're going to work on is, oops, I dropped my sheet. We're going to work on how to find the angles and all these triangles. And we've got a seven member truss here that we're going to be working a lot with. You'll notice that there are four angles that I've specifically kind of drawn in. We're going to have to use uh, our trig to find those four. Once we find those four, then we can use some simpler math to find the rest of the missing angles. So just kind of know that I always, when, as we go through our trust unit, I like to keep my little cheat sheet handy that I've got. It's the same thing that we've got on the, on the whiteboard over there. You could write this in your class, you know, in your notebook somewhere. Um, but I always kind of like to have these formulas handy so I can, you know, kind of see them as we're going through as a, as a reminder. So let's start with this very first one here. We've got to find the theta and it's missing. So we're going to look at this and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go, okay, well, if I want, if this is my angle, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to identify, you know, that this would be the adjacent, right? Side to that angle. And this one would be the opposite. Okay. All right. So there we go. So, so I've got the theta, the adjacent and the opposite. Now, when I go to this, let me, let me straighten that up for you guys there. I'm going to look and I go, okay, well, what formula has theta adjacent and opposite? So I'm going to look over here and I'm going to go theta adjacent and opposite or old friend tangent. Okay. Well, he's not your old friend yet. He's my old friend. So I'm going to write that formula. I'm going to say, we're going to use tangent of theta is equal to our opposite over our adjacent. And now I can just plug and chug tangent of theta is opposite, which is five over my adjacent, which is four. Okay. Now remember, I want to get tangent by itself. Okay. And the way that I think about this, and I know it's not really mathematically like this, but just bear with me for a second is it's tangent and theta. I need to op, I need to isolate theta. Well, I need to get rid of tangent. Well, what do, can I do to get rid of tangent? What's the opposite of tangent? Anybody? Inverse tangent. So if I take that and I multiply, and that's this is not really, it's not really multiplication, but we're going to act like it is because you guys are used to that, right? What you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to write it out like that. So if I've got tangent on this side and I do that right there, so that isolates and it leaves me with theta is equal to, and I'm going to rewrite this a little bit different. I'm going to flip it around. And then when you put that in your calculator, it's going to look like that. So I'll show you what that looks like come here and I'm going to say second inverse tangent five divided by four and actually right there I don't even have to hit the other parentheses I can just hit enter and it tells me that my theta is equal to 51 and I'm going to keep a couple of decimal places okay so theta is equal to 51.34 once again, I always want to make sure and double check and make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So I'm going to fill that in on my chart. Okay. Now I'm going to come right across to my next one. My next angle of the four that I really need to use my trig to find. And I'm going to look at this one and I'm going to go, okay, well, what do I have here? Well, I've got... I know the opposite and I know my adjacent that's down here. So, well, I already knew that really. So if I think about this, it's tangent, inverse, opposite, adjacent. So I'm going to kind of skip all these steps this time. And I'm just going to say inverse tangent over opposite over adjacent. 
And so I can then just plug and chug that in my calculator. Inverse tangent. Opposite is 5 divided by adjacent is 3. So at this one, I get theta is equal to 59 point, let's call it 0, 04. Okay. See that? All right. So I'll write that down. Tangent negative 1 is opposite, which was 1 over 3. Okay. Now, next one. Same thing again. Tangent, inverse 1, opposite, 5, over adjacent, 2.5. And that gives us a theta here of 63.43. Last one, right over here. Opposite is 5, adjacent is 6. So tangent 1, opposite still 5, and my adjacent is 6. And that gives me theta is 39 point, we'll call it 81. Okay, so you see a little pattern as we go over here, right? Inverse tangent, 5 over 4. Inverse tangent, 5 over 3. Inverse tangent, 5 over 2.5. Inverse tangent, 5 over 6. As we work our way across, Really, every one of these formulas, the only thing that's going to change is the denominator. And it'll be like this for the trusses you work as well. Once I get those four angles, I can just use this guy right here to find the rest, right? So if I look at this and I know that, you know, like this is 90, so... 180 minus 90 minus 51.3 will give me that one. 59.04, you know, 180 minus 59 minus 90 will give me this angle, so forth, and I can work the rest of them pretty easily, okay? Okay.